Hello, good afternoon guys. Welcome to MK Communities Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. Um, in this video, I want to talk about the Prometric Insurance Practice Exams. Now, I highly recommend taking practice exams with Prometric. They're very good. They're very, very efficient, especially for those people that are trying to take the property and casualty insurance exams. So I highly recommend them as well. Um, in this part, um, I just want to go over certain things a lot of people don't know about when they take the insurance exam. Um, insurance exams consist of about 150 questions. Um, some of the questions are listed are all the items that I'm going to talk about over here. Um, insurance regulations, uh, general insurance, property casualty insurance basics, dwellings, homeowners, auto insurance, commercial package policy, business owners, work and compensation insurance, other coverage is an option and accident health insurance. These are all the topics that they're gonna ask about. The thing about this is sit this. 150 questions, you need about 110 to pass, which means that you need a good amount of questions to pass. That's a lot of questions. The problem with the 150 is the 10 questions are gonna be gonna be the questions that are not counting towards the exam, if I'm correct. So that's how it usually is. So 140 you need, but 10 questions are you don't know even gonna know which one they're gonna add or not. So that's very very uh, you know hard. So keep that in mind. But you have to study, guys. Uh, insurance is something that a lot of people don't realize that you really have to study. Um, you know, a lot a lot of people would pass the exam, but once passed, it's for, it's, a, it's a good license to have on your belt. Uh, you know, I I highly recommend it. Uh, I've passed it. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, obviously no one passes the first time. I'm not gonna say that I, I've, <clears throat> I passed on the first time. I didn't pass the first time. I took it multiple times and I ended up passing it. But the thing about this is practice makes better. Um, I highly recommend uh, studying for these exams, reading the book, doing practice multiple choice questions. The more questions you do, the better you become. And obviously, if you have a good teacher, that makes a, that makes a uh, you know make you go into a long way as well. Uh, I will have a video of showing you how to. Uh, what type of questions they ask you and what type of uh, you know uh, what type of questions they're gonna ask you what how to pass exam what to do what not to do um, but once once you do that part it's very very easy once you pass it's easy um, my topic is this if you're planning to become a property and casualty insurance agent uh, slash broker with either personal line or commercial lines take the personal line first personal line is easier to pass um, which means that you will only be able to sell auto policy and homeowner policy, but you won't be able to deal with commercial policy. The commercial policy test is much harder. Um, but if you take the personal policy test, which will be very, very, you know, uh, easy, take it, you'll get the hang of it, you get the gist of it. If not, then take the commercial policy. Commercial policy test is going to be much, much uh, uh, harder, but let's guess what, you already have experience. You'll know what type of questions they're going to ask you. Um... With that being said, that's about it. I just want to share you some of my experience, some of the uh, some of the sections they might ask you from here. Um, like I said again, practice every one of the sections. Every point counts. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys learned something from this. Thank you.